Treasure. That treasure. Not the biscuits. Not the biscuits, definitely not. Oh well, I think it came quite naturally to me because I've got kids myself, so yeah. We do want to want kids, isn't it? And they're yeah. super teaching them, so that's how we develop me to these young people. So. Not biscuits or bones. I don't yeah. think so. Okay, that's it. That's that's you have just observed uh, me going doing a one to one with a particular yeah. student. Some of them are quite shy and some of them struggle to engage. But then if you happen to hit the right note, then you can engage. So for example, me told me that it was really brilliant today. So it was an exciting Hi. experience. Yeah. That choir, I think, Besides entertaining us and everybody else, I think it's quite therapeutic to them because often after they have had that singing in their lives, they release that other extra energy that makes them fidget in classes and oftentimes we see them concentrate very well after singing. Yeah, I think it encourages them to join in. They love it, um, you know, it's all voluntary, they're in it if they want. And I think they're just trying to make it current and relevant to them. You know, they, they, you give them a hymn and they've never heard it before. They're not interested, but they're singing relevant, up-to-date current songs. And they just want to get really into it and they love it. I've got some little things inside. They're really, really good, yeah. Um, I was really nervous at first, the, the very start of it, because it's so different to like main, to mainstream school. And um, I wasn't, I knew it was going to be different, but I wasn't expecting it to be as different as it's been. And um, something that, um, I, I think is that it's almost like I've had to sort of unlearn some stuff and then relearn. It's like a different style of teaching altogether. Um, but it's been really enjoyable and I feel like I've learned more in this four weeks um, than I, I could have, have, have ever wished for really. I've, I've learned loads. It's been good to me and my husband when we got married. I told you about that Labrador puppy, didn't I? That's him when he was a little puppy. In this school, everything is around pupils. Pupils don't have to bend to fix the rules, the routines, and the schemes that the school have got. It's everything that's done is around those individual pupils. It's really, really pupil friendly, pupil centred, and it's it's how it's how I've come to think schools should be. And I, I'm not sure um, how I'm going to change. Um, I mean, obviously, I can't change the whole education system, but I think my set, my style of teaching will be different, and I'm going to try and be more pupil-centred than thinking I've got this assessment to get out of them. You know, I'll be thinking, well, what can your pupils get out of them? Not what can I get out of the pupils? We want to get on to the, today's activity, and today I have another list of mixing to do. All right, and we're going to have milk and also water and also. Cheese. Juice and we're going to mix it all around. So we want to try to quickly finish this list and we're going to put aside 20 minutes for a special treat. Oh. Yes, it's one thing that I thought maybe if I want skills that they will use in life and at the same time bring the underpinning mathematics. So as you saw at the beginning we were saying how many more do we need to put in to get to this? How many hundreds are there in a thousand? So that's math. Right. Well, sometimes we, yeah. we put a little bit too much and then we take some out, but it was spot on, right? Yeah. All right, one quick question for this group. Is it better to look at the level like this, or is it better to put it on the table and I just look like this? Because if you talk to I think it's better on the table. You can see level. You can see level. You can see be it a class teacher or a teacher or even a caretaker because I think I love it, yes. Basically it's because once you're in the system you've put your foot in the doorway and then if a post comes in then you can always dance up to the children. Beautiful mathematics. So if we put clear of this and then we we'll make our milkshake now. Okay. Yes. Can we get some big towels? Love too. And we have more. Maths lesson. This is 
And then the milkshake bit, other than being met, it was just a boss for them to enjoy the life. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, being a man, I don't normally shed tears, but I've got the equivalent of that. <laughs> yes. we've done is different. It depends, all the kids are in a different mood, you don't know how they're going to react to what you're doing, so it's, it's a brilliant experience. Brilliant experience. And um, today's lesson went really well. It was nice to see they were all engaged and they all wanted to learn, which is a nice feeling. We team teach and that was what we came up with, because we wanted them to see what was healthy and what was unhealthy. And so we thought actually getting them to hold the foods and touch the foods and kind of visually seeing them would help them understand that more.
Elliot looking? Did you like your drink? Might you need to look at the pictures, Elliot. Look. Was the drink, did you not like very drink? good, or was the teams and the schemes that the school have got it's everything that's done around those individual pupils it's really really pupil centered it's how i've come to think schools should be every lesson we've done is different 